Hey guys, I'm going to be um, changing out my um, controller, my large, large controller with something uh, a little bit easier on my battery pack so I can uh, go a little bit further than around the block. Um, this is my 1200 watt that I had a couple of years ago that uh, died, seriously died. Uh, all the fats are still good. I think it's the pick that likely died on it. But uh, we're going to harvest some parts from that one. It has two lowest, low ESR caps at 100 volts that I want to pull off. And this is the controller that I picked up for $29 off of um, Amazon. It's the 50 amp. I'm going to be using that on the bike. But uh, like I said before that, I want to swap these 60 volt caps out with the 100 volt. The uh, reason for that is I usually like to run a 40, 49 volt uh, controller at around 60, 65. And the other thing I want to do is I want a pass sensor. Now, this small one here, this was the one that came with the display and the throttle, like the scooter style one that uh, blew that while well, I destroyed the LCD. Uh, unfortunately, I can't use the small one because it only has the pass. It doesn't have uh, throttle coming out. So, and I've already tried modding it. It's, you can't get the throttle to work. So it's good for parts. I want to take the pass sensor off with the wire anyway and it goes to on the solder mask it goes to the marking of ZL and uh, I followed it on this board here uh, the solder mask is right there and instead of it just going nowhere it goes to a resistor and then it goes to the pixel that's definitely it was set up for a pass sensor they just never added it so what I'm going to do is take this desolder this run it through here uh, solder to ground 5 volts and then I want to extend the blue because it won't reach to the uh, ZL uh, solder mask and that should take care of the um, the pass sensor anyway so I figured I'd take you along with me I mean this is I go through this every time when I, I set a new controller up I never just buy something and throw it on the bike there's a monkey with it somehow so let's do it start with the capacitors it's probably the easiest thing Just looking at the solder mask, make sure we know where the negative and positive is on those on those caps. It's all marked. Usually what happens is these um, these capacitors won't pop right away. They um, basically just run hot and eventually vent. And when they vent, is when they tend to uh, create the most damage. Keep it up. Mr. 
this one here, like I said, lasted a couple of years before it finally died. I had a lot of fun with this one. I believe this is the one where I uh, broke my speed record. I don't know how easy this is going to be to get off because I kind of glued them down. I always get carried away when I mod. Oops, still good though. Okay, get this out of the way. Not like in the solder mask. There's one side. Looks like a hell of a mess with the yes. Okay, let's make sure we got that right. Nope. Next. Just heat it up and slowly. If you can, like some, uh, some just are easy to. Um, I guess the solder mask on this uh, on this board is terrible. 
and uh, even if you heat it up, you can't get all the freaking solder out of it. So just push and lightly push and uh, heat it up at the same time. It works just as good. And there we go. Capacitors are done. And the last thing we'll do is we'll uh, put a little bit of goop on those to keep them from uh, moving. Wipe my hands off. Okay, last but not least, the pass sensor. Um, go. It's five volts. This out of the way. It's going to be short, but I'll still be able to get it hooked up. We can feed it through the case. Let me find another way of doing this. Well, she's going to be a little short, but uh, I'm still going to be able to get at it. Set up the ground here. We're good there. Okay, now I just have to find the um, five volts. This may take a little bit of digging. I couldn't really get at the solder mask, so what I did is I just basically tapped into the uh, throttle, uh, the positive on the throttle. It's the same thing. It'd be going to the same thing on the on the board, and I'll just put a uh, some tape or something over it to protect it so it doesn't short. Uh, we're gonna do the blue now. Tubing. I don't smoke, so I don't have a lighter on me. Uh, I could use my other tool to heat it up, but I can't. I'm too lazy to uh, turn it on. <laughs> Just works anyway. There you go. Uh, this only has to go about that far. As far as it's going to go. Leave a little bit extra. Sure, we got this correct. Zio. All right. Okay. 
looks good. It's not touching the resistor. And that's it. We'll uh, I'll hook it up and uh, give it a quick test. I can't test, obviously I can't test this out yet, but uh, we'll uh, put some tape over something over this uh, connection I made here. I'm just going to see the inside. I'll just put some uh, electrical tape around it. Screw it. If I pull it, there. Cool. Let's uh, hook it up to something and give it a try. Test before I put it on the bike. It's basically hooked up to my um, three-phase um, uh, Grotent uh, fan that I uh, produced. I just took the other controller off of it. I have it uh, set up with a thermal diode that uh, will. Uh, bring it up and down the fan speed by the heat of the uh, tent but uh, so it works with any controller basically but anyway uh, as you can see it is powered up I can throttle up and throttle it down so I'm going to let it run like that for a bit just make sure it doesn't overheat which I doubt it will and then we'll uh, put the box back on it and install it on the bike it's good to go later guys